Welcome to Indigo Gaming, and welcome to a match of StarCraft II, played by people that are way better than me. The map in question is Death Aura, spawning in the upper left, the drones in red belonging to the legend himself. It is Serol. And the challenger, the opponent, the blue SCVs from France. It is Clem. Need I say more, really? Obviously, these two names in the same game. This is top level TVZ here. It, it really doesn't get much better than this. Obviously, there are plenty of professional Terrans and Zergs that we can think of that always give great games solid play. But these two names just carry a weight with them. You know who they are by this point. I would seriously hope, at least. Opening up completely normal standard play for both of these players. Barracks finishing up now, I fully expect Reaper. Called it. Natural CC, probably coming down in just a second here. Let's see. Obviously, Natural Command Center. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Moving on. Serral, side of the map, opening up. Hatch, gas, pool, really there's not much out of the ordinary here second ov actually staying home it looks like scv coming in now what's clem checking for just the creep actually clem just taking that scv to the edge of the creep wanting to make sure Cyril expanded which of course he did Cyril is one of the most famous zergs period, but also macro zergs. I don't really think of a lot of cheese or crazy shenanigans that come out from Serral. Reaper coming in for Clem now, picking off some zerglings. Really just damaging them. He's just hurting the zerglings. Queen comes out. I'm sure Clem would love to get a creep tumor here. Not looking like it though. Second queen here grenade. That's too much Zerg though. Serral bringing down that second queen really helped to secure the creep tumor. Obviously Reaper wanted to bounce one queen and then go for the tumor but two queens and four Zerglings. That's just too much to deal with. Back at home, third CC did get started. Reactored Hellions and Starport on the way for Clem. Starport actually little out of the way from this top wall here. Maybe he was trying to hide it in case Cyril came up the ramp, but not much going on there. Ling Speed on the way. Third hatch about to finish for Cyril. Meanwhile, the Reaper just continuing to exist. And that's pretty much it. Clem wants to make sure that that Reaper is alive. Make sure that Cyril is honest with his creep spread. There's always the premise and the threat of the Reaper, the Hellions coming in. Morelings on the way. Interesting choice from Clem going for a Raven out of that starport. Maybe it's to clear the creep. Raven detection obviously is a great asset to have negating the need for orbital scans. You can then use that energy for mules, get your economy set up and thriving. But with the Raven, there's also the extra benefits of auto turrets, really. They have interference matrix, they have anti-armor missile, but auto turrets in a harassment sense, great play, great decision making. More Hellions coming across, more Hellions being made too. What's the total Hellion count at? About to be eight? Eight Hellions, one Reaper, and one Raven, actually. 
Everything going to be probably joined up in the middle of the map here. Stem on the way. Two more barracks coming up. I expect to see Clem pounce into action now that the Raven's here. Queens are on the right side. He's going to rotate around to the left. Clear this creep. And therein lies that great value. Getting those two creep tumors for free, really. No scan was needed. More creep tumors going down. And is he actually going to get in the main here? What is going on here? A few Zerglings just running by, but here's the real battle. Hellions in the main, one queen gunned down. Drones in peril, four drones dead. The Hellions are not going after the drones though, instead damaging the queen. Queen is transfused back up. Here's the dance. Zerglings, queens trying to keep these Hellions at bay while the drones are fearing for their little drone lives. Looking like it's going to be cleaned up though. Five drones in total went down, which is completely manageable. That's exactly what you want as the Zerg. To take those Hellions out with minimal drone losses. Oh, I did not notice. Sadly, Clem lost the Raven in that too. So that was a bit of a gas investment that didn't really pay off. Five drones, one queen went down. He got those initial creep tumors also with the Raven, but <clears throat> I'm not wholly sure that was worth it. Maybe somebody can crunch the numbers for me. Spy are going to be the tech choice for Serral. Bane speed on the way while Clem did get that third base set up. So Serral with the inclusion of the Mutalisks, that's really a tech choice to be talked about here. He's going to want to get aggressive. The Ling Bane is probably going to be used for defense to try and secure these outlying bases. You can see setting up his fourth and fifth at the same time. The hope is the Mutas will go across the map, harass Clem, keep Clem's attention on his own base while Serral gets the drone lines set up in those outer bases here. Scuffle on the right side of the map though. Bane stuck behind the thickness of the Queens. Transfuse is going out, not much happening. Sadly, the Queens blocking most of those Banes from getting any connections. Mutas on the field now. A lot of Marines here, though. They're going to have to keep going. Turrets coming up. Six SCVs, seven SCVs, actually. Not a bad trade, given that there were already Marines and Mines present here. Losing a couple Mutas, that's not ideal, but definitely fine. 10 SCVs down in total. Clem picking up his forces here. He's dropping those Marines out so the Mutas cannot harass. They could go for the Medivacs, but that's a lot of Marines. And as we all know, there's one very terrifying force that Terrans can yield, and that's guys with drugs and guns. I would not want to mess with that if I was a Zerg either. Small Zergling scout gunned down here. Both forces posturing on the right side of the map here. Muta's going to scout the heavy Marine Hellbat mine force, actually. Drilling Claws about to finish up. Both players posturing now. Ooh, this hatch is very dead. Yeah, canceled right away here. Mutas, Lings gathering on this side here. Mainlings rolling in. That's way too much Terran, though. With already a nice pre-split set up. Planetary there, going to keep the Zerg off of the SCVs. Well, there's a turret. There's mineral line there. Mutas terrorizing. Lings and Banes. Chaos erupting up here. Great micro though, Clem really trying to run. Solid Bane connections though. And how much happened down here? Looks like some SCVs went down. I see a counter of four. Turret destroyed, but the planetary lives. So not a lot of damage to Clem. Cyril instantly throwing down 
the expansion on the other side of the map. Mines are going to get cleaned up here. Clem, you saw he scanned this outer base here. Oh, good pickup. Going to have to drop to deal with those mutas, though. Getting set up on the left side now. Clem canceling that hatch, too. Setting Cyril back yet again. Stuck on really just four bases. More fights erupting on multiple parts of the map. I don't know how they expect me to keep up with this. Looks like Mutas took a mine shot. Changeling doing its job. Standing around looking pretty, of course. Mutas coming in. And leaving, just like that. A lot of links gathering up in the center of the map here. Medivac's going to spot it. Ooh. There's no Banes there, though. It's just Ling Muta, which is not an efficient force to deal with that many Marines. He's losing a lot of Zerglings in the process here. Resources lost, definitely, in favor of Clem. Cyril is losing a bit more, and he's been denied these outer bases multiple times, and it looks like it's about to continue, too. Setting up Blings and Banes for the other side of the map, that hatch finishes. Can Cyril defend it? There's a lot of Zerglings. Handful of Banes, but that hatch is going down. Hatch destroyed. Battle on the other side of the map, though. Planetary torched. Nine SCVs, ten SCVs. Slaughtered. Nice pre-split setup from Clem yet again. Baneling's rolling in. And rolling out. Like little Transformers. Main command center being floated out to make an expansion for Clem. Banelings and Lynx coming in yet again. Thors are picked up, evacuated. Cyril is pushing that Terran force back for now. Scan creep being cleaned up yet again. More Marines coming in. 3-3. Just over halfway done for Clem compared to Cyril's 2-2. So Clem looking to be a full upgrade ahead. That is pretty normal for TVZ, yes. But the problem is there's no hive for Cyril. So that 3-3 cannot start yet. Cannot start until hive is finished. And there's just too much action going on. I don't see Cyril able to really breathe, much less get a hive here. He is pushing this back. There's mostly just medevacs, healthcare. For none, really. There's healthcare for none. Marines joining the fight now. Backing off, I'd love to see Cyril get a hive so that he can move up to in that tech tree, get ultras, get lurkers, 3-3, three, three, just something. The current plan is not working. I feel like time is against Cyril here. Clem has his 3-3. Three, three. He's got Marines, Mines, Thors. The game is more and more looking in favor of Clem. It still could get turned around though. Banelings are of course a very cost efficient unit. Solid Bane connections on Marines. But these hatches keep getting destroyed and that's just setting Cyril back more and more. The banks are both a bit low for both players but the income, I feel, is in favor of Clem who has not really lost a lot of bases. He lost that one planetary we saw, but that's it, really. Muta's being annoying against the add-ons here. Zerglings on the left going to be staved off. Muta's not finding the damage they need on the right side. Hive did just get started for Cyril, so it's on the way, but my goodness, that is late. Mine connection kept 12 kills, oh my word. I don't know if that was all at once, but yikes. That's an adventurous Thor. Taking shots at that. Well, I'm 
setting up in the position. Again, this has been a absolute hot spot of activity. I see Serral rotating on the left side, trying to get some damage done with those mutas, but the hatchery falls. And with it, I feel like it is the end of Serral in this game. Just not able to muster enough money to get the Banes. Well, there's connections, but they're not good enough. There's too many Marines left over. Serral tapping out. GG is called. Clem taking the game. Relentless aggression. Constant denial of those outer bases. Setting Serral's economy back. Really just containing him on those four bases. Eventually, you run out of money. And that was Clem's plan, and it seemed to work. If you enjoyed the game, be sure to leave a comment below with your thoughts and hit those buttons above the comment section that do fancy things for YouTube, or so I hear. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.